Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Light. I'm here today to look into the grounding system of the house. And as you can see, I have this uh, plug plugged in and I have a grounding cable that goes to the ground pin on the plug. And that's connecting into my meter over here. And the other side of my meter actually connects into the garden. Now the size of this long cable runs all the way out to the garden at the back of the house and attaches on to a ground rod that I put in to the ground. And this ground rod is just one foot of copper. It's number four grounding cable. You can buy it at any hardware shop. And the meter that we're using to measure the stray voltage is an Ampro. And this particular meter is a 5XPA. It's about $43. It's quite an expensive meter. But the good thing about it is it has this min-max function. And it's ideal for recording stray voltage over long periods of time. The meter will actually run for 16 days on an alkaline battery. So uh, it's more than sufficient for the purposes that we're using it for. And as you can see, we have a maximum value over the last 24 hours of almost 1.5 volts. And we press the min max button, we can see the low value, which was 149 millivolts. So you see my rounding system over here. It's actually swinging up and down with the electrical system load over time. And it seems to peak out at the, the peak demand, which is in the early evening around 6 o'clock. So uh, I've established that the house has a uh, stray voltage problem. I'm actually currently working with the power company to try and rectify that. I just wanted to show you how to measure it. So this is the ideal setup that I've identified. So if you're interested in measuring your stray voltage, this is how to do it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the best of health. Thank you.